for the cheapest coins, FIFA points and accounts on FIFA Mobile and FIFA 17. Go to ufifa.com, use the code TVM at checkout for a huge discount. Link in the description. Go check them out. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome to another week of Team of the Week predictions. And let's get straight into it because there are obviously a fair few players to get through. We have Sam Slocum. Seven saves and a penalty save in a nil-nil draw for Blackpool. We have Callum Connolly of Wigan, although in-game currently he is of Everton and he is a CDM. Interesting one that he hasn't been uh, swapped over yet. I think he's gone on loan to Wigan, if I've got that right. So he'll have a uh, transfer card to Wigan and he'll have a position change to right back because he got two goals in a 2-0 win. Next, we have the Spaniard named German. Uh, one goal, man of the match, in a 1-0 win for Tenerife. Yusuf Yazicki. I have no idea to say that guy's name at all. One goal, one assist, and his side won two goals to one. If there was ever a guaranteed inform, it is James Vaughan. Four goals, and he also got the last assist, and his side won 5-1. I couldn't leave this guy out, but he is one of technically three Everton players in this week's Team of the Week. We've already had one with Callum Connolly, of course, now of Wigan. Davis. Uh, the man of the moment, really, one goal, one assist, and he also picked up man of the match for Everton over Manchester City in that impressive 4-0 win. Yuri Medeiros got himself one goal, two assists, and he also picked up man of the match in a 3-3 draw, but it was against league leaders Benfica. Bernardo Silva, could we possibly see the third in form? He currently has two goals for Monaco, and they are currently 4-1 up as I'm filming. There is about 20 minutes left, though. Huntington got himself a goal and he also picked up man of the match from the centre-back position. The biggest thing about this one, though, is his side Preston, who hadn't won a game in quite a while, I believe, have beaten league leaders Brighton two goals to nil. So this is, uh, I think this is almost set in stone. My man Peter Crouch got himself a goal and he also got himself an assist, a man of the match, and he played a perfect 10 rating, which if you do your homework, EA tend to give players who get perfect 10s and they've also done something like scored a goal, got man of the match, etc., uh, they will tend to give them an inform. So hopefully. Next we have newly transferred Stefan Jovetic. Interesting one this. And I'm really not sure whether he's going to get in there. It would be a really nice card if he did. He came on as a second half substitute. I believe in the 68th minute against Real Madrid. And he ended up scoring the winning goal in the 92nd minute. Now that might not be that significant to a lot of people. But Real Madrid were on something stupid like a 40 game unbeaten run. So Jovetic has come on as a sub and ended that. So in theory he should maybe possibly get an in form. I hope he does because the card looks nice. And last up for the subs bench, we had our, have our third and final Everton player. I've gone with Kevin Morales. Now, there is Ross Barkley in there who got himself two assists. Obviously, the man of the match went to Davis. I can't see them not giving it to Davis. But because he's a bronze player, I think EA might say, do you know what? Everton have beaten Man City 4-0. That's a massive result. We'll give one to Kevin Morales as well. He got a goal and an assist in that game. And he also played as a striker. That would be a phenomenal card. I would, I'd love that card. So that would be such a good card to have. Please, EA, do the right thing. And if that wasn't enough, let's move on to the starting 11. I've gone with Moya of Atletico Madrid. I would love to have gone with Simon Mignolet because he did keep Liverpool in the game. And he was the reason that the game only finished 1-1 and not like 6-1 to Manchester United. But uh, unfortunately, because he's conceded, I don't think they'll give it to him. Moya made six saves. He also picked up man of the match in Atletico's 1-0 win. Alex Vidal of Barcelona got himself a goal in their impressive 5-0 win. A lot of people are going to be screaming Suarez at me. Uh, he's just had a team of the year. He did get two goals. He also picked up man of the match, which normally would be more than worthy of getting himself an inform. But uh, as he's just had a team of the year, in fact, as, as we're speaking right now, he still has a team of the year in packs. So I don't think they're going to get, give it to him based on that. Plus, there's a severe lack of defenders this week. Next up, we have a right titty. One goal and a clean sheet in a 3-0 win. Looks dreadful. That pace is not great. Marcano of Porto. Almost guaranteed, I would say. One goal, one assist. He also picked up man of the match in Porto's 3-0 win earlier on today. Zayek of Ajax. Got himself two goals and he also picked up man of the match in a 3-1 win. Not too sure on this one. I think players from uh, leagues such as Hurtado, the Mexican league, have to work twice as hard to get their informs as someone, say, from the Premier League. Hurtado got two goals and he also got a man of the match in a 6-2 win. Very impressive, but I'm not quite sure. I'd love it, but I'm not quite sure whether he'll have done enough to get one. 
A player who has done enough to get one, in my opinion, is Antonio of West Ham. Three assists, and he also picked up Man of the Match in a 3-0 win. We do have to mention Andy Carroll, of course. He got himself a goal, and it was honestly the contender for goal of the season. It was one of the best overhead kicks I think I've ever seen, connection-wise. But I don't think that one goal is going to be enough to do it. Otherwise, Giroud would have had a couple of informs by now. Marcus Alonso got himself two goals in a 3-0 win for Chelsea. This has been a long time coming. This guy, honestly, has deserved an inform for the last God knows how long. Finally, it looks like he's going to get it. Unfortunately, it's going to be a left mid card. I didn't want it to be a left mid. I kind of wanted it to be a left wing back, but uh, we live in hope. Berardi of Sassuolo got two assists and he also picked up Man of the Match in a 4-1 win. It's a bit of a loose one, this one, but because he'll be an 84-rated card, I just feel like EA might need to put him in there for the sake of having a high-rated player in this week's Team of the Week because there aren't too many of them. That brings me on nicely to Borriello, 80-rated, two goals, Man of the Match. He also hit the bar in his side's 4-1 win. And finally, we have 88-rated, third in form, Harry Kane. He got himself a hat-trick in Tottenham's 4-0 win. I tell you what... This guy's team of the season card is going to be through the roof. But uh, yeah, looks like we're getting another Harry Kane. Of course, there are still a couple of games left tomorrow to play. But for the most part, that is going to do it for this week's Team of the Week predictions. Uh, a, a fairly decent Team of the Week as far as affordable players are concerned. But nothing massive in there that's going to be worth a lot of money if you pack it. Apart from Harry Kane and maybe one or two others, but still a really nice looking team of the week as far as reviews go. Expect an awful lot of those. If you want another perspective on this week's team of the week predictions, do me a huge favor. Go to the description and click the link or go to MPHD's channel. The link will be at the end of the video. If you've enjoyed this episode of team of the week predictions, do me a huge favor and smack the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have done so. Of course, I shall see you guys in the next one. And until then, goodbye. If you want access to exclusive content and perks or just want to support me, head over to my Patreon page. The link is down in the description. Go check it out.